Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Moderately Anonymous MTG CEDH, the greatest CEDH channel in the multiverse. As always, this episode is brought to you by TCG Player. Get that TCG Player affiliate link in the description to pick up any of the cards that you see in today's video. It's a great way to help out the channel. And thank you to all of our patrons that make great content like this possible. Become a patron, enjoy Patreon exclusive content, and get direct support to the channel. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, it helps a lot to click that like and subscribe button. One of the best ways to support the channel and everyone is highly appreciated. And make sure you visit our merch store to get some official Modern On merch. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, and crewnecks with original Modern On designs. Moderately Anonymous MTG is now also an affiliate of Ink Gaming. Make sure you use our affiliate link to design and pick up your own custom gaming accessories or order official Modern On playmats. We've got a great crew with us today. I'm joined by Josh from Elder Drunken Highlander. Check them out here on YouTube for some awesome casual and competitive EDH deck techs. We've also got Clayby from the amazing EDH streaming crew CNC Power Hour. Make sure you follow them over on Twitch. And last up is a new friend to the program, Kev from Just Kev's Will. Kev streams casual and competitive EDH on Twitch, so go give him a follow. First up is Mod playing a new commander from New Capenna. This is Rafine Scheming Seer. This is a mid-range Doomsday deck using its commander to crack Doomsday piles on the same turn that you cast them for instant wins. Second up is Josh playing his Brawlin and Shabraz deck, Jaws 5. This is a Wheel Thief deck using Curiosity effects with its commanders to control the board and set up combo wins. Third, we've got Clayby piloting Cobblepot's Derevi Token Storm. This is a mid-range list looking to accrue advantage with Derevi's static ability in combination with token producers to create massive amounts of mana and storm off. And last up, we've got Kev playing a homebrew. This is Cecily and Sophia, otherwise known as Eleven and Chief Jim Hopper from the Stranger Things Secret Lair. This is a Sans Green Stacks deck that gains advantage with its commanders and attempts to close out the game with Time Sieve. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. Um, that's six and seven. I think I'm just going to keep my first seven. It looks fine enough. No, let me change to my shark play map. Where you are? Oh, okay. No, this is. Yeah, pick up all your cards and then. Oh, what? <laughs> Now, actually, Josh is joining us from 2033. I don't know why I said 2033, like that it's only 11 <laughs> years in the future. I don't know. I guess that's more you think of that Deltron album. Josh, this is a weird ask, but I feel like the moving background is going to make YouTube look weird. Oh, yeah, I got you. I'll put yeah, the can I request a stationary? Yeah. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. All set. All right. Uh, does anyone have a pregame action? Nice. Have fun. I love that response. Uh, Marsh Flats is land for turn. I'm going to crack that and go get Underground. I'm going to cast a Mana Crypt. Cast a Talisman of Dominance. And then I'll use the Underground and the Dominance to cast a Talisman of Progress. That's pretty oh, good. Boy. And that's it. I'm going to pass after that. Doctor. Misty Rainforest. I'll play Lion's Eye Diamond. Crack Misty Rainforest. Lose a life. Go to 39. I'm going to grab a Tundra, cast a Mana Vault, we'll pass it up from there, let me get my Tundra. Draw. Play this Snow-Covered Forest and enchant it with a Utopia Sprawl naming Blue. Now let's go. Play Polluted Delta. I'll crack it for a Tundra. Kev, you going to win? Yeah, I'm about to win right now in this combo deck. I mean, it is a combo deck, but... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that if you're saying that sarcastically, that's like not helping the case. It's a little combo. Oh yeah, sure. I'm gonna win quickly in my combo deck. I will play a Jeweled Lotus, and I will use it for red to play Sofina, and then I will pass. Untap, draw. Sea of Clouds is my land for turn. I'll pay two life for colors through my signets. Also lose a life for Marsh Flats. I'm going to cast Rafine. And then I'm going to cast a Phantasmal Image. And I'm going to copy Kev's Commander. Right. And then I'm going to pass. Is it Signet? I have a colorless mana floating. I'm going to cast Ristic Study. I'm sorry, I, I forgot to roll for Crypt. Oh, go ahead. Roll Interrupt for you quickly there. Odds is damage. Study in the stack. It is odds. I will take damage. Go down to 34. Did your heart stop for a second when they said, I'm sorry, right after you said, I cast Ristic Study? <laughs> I was very scared. <laughs> I was excited. Nah, for I'm not going to force that. I don't care. <laughs> All right. If that's good, I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Tropical Islands. Uh, I'll take up. Say draw. 
man tower. My flexi one. Immediately oh. cover it up with a proxy. Yeah. Oh, hide it, hide it. <laughs> I'll pay two, and I'll play Lavinia Azorius Renegade. I hate that. Oh. <laughs> no response. Mm. Dude, no, I'm the only one who's allowed to kill people with commander damage. You can't kill me with mm -hmm. commander damage. <laughs> Yo, me? Uh, Kev got four fours. Watch out. Yeah, I don't want to swing into that. Go to combat? Yes. I'll swing. Hey, you still have 40. I'll bring mm -hmm. you down with us. Did you pay the one on that Lavinia? I did not. Draw that, that card, awesome. baby. Oh, yeah, I'm shit. good after that. Tokens, okay. I'm going to untap. Roll for crypt. That is a one. I'll take damage down to 31. And draw for turn. So Fina is just for the amount of attacking creatures? Yep. Attacking non-token creatures. Okay, let's move to combat. I'm going to swing Sophina at Kev and Rafine hey. at uh, Josh. And I have a connive trigger for two. I'll draw two. I'm going to discard Flooded Strand and Averdant Catacombs. And then move to blockers. All right. Uh, second main phase, I'm going to play a Glimmer Void as my land for turn, and then... Oh, did you get your two clues? Oh, I get two clues. That's amazing news. Again, before the oof comes down. Let's crack one of these clues. I will draw a card. Let's go white and a colorless here, and I'm going to cast Draineth Magistrate. And then I'm going to pass. Alrighty. We'll take one damage from Mana Vault. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you pay one for that Draineth Magistrate? Yeah, I will. I'll cast this Faithless Looting. I'll draw two. Nice. We'll okay. card two. We'll discard Mox Diamond and Frantic Zerg. I'll play City Traders as my land for turn. I like to cast Jessica's Will. I'll target. We'll get six red mana. I'll spend three of that red mana and go to three. Cast Wheel of Fortune. I'll hold priority Crack Lion's Eye Diamond and I'll add triple blue. And in response. Oh, haha. Just kidding. Can't. Uh, no response. Cool. Nice. Very funny. Hey. Kev? <laughs> no response. Well, no response from me. Swords, Dispel, Wild Growth, Temple Guard, Mana Confluence, and oh, Force Negation. Muddle the Mixture, Volcanic Island, Draneth Magistrate, and Grim Hireling. Nice foil muddle. Thanks. I've got Igonjo, Seed of the Empire, City of Brass, and a Reanimate. I'm going to bolt that Draneth Magistrate, by the way. I'll uh, attempt to dispel that. Ristic Study? You can have it. Thanks. I won't respond. Okay. I'll play Heath. Heath Ledger Shredder. Don't sleep pilferer. <laughs> I like to use this last and cast an occult epiphany. X equals one. So I'll draw one, discard one, and then make a one one spirit for each type of card discarded this way. So I'll make a one one spirit base. Draw a card. We will pitch the exotic orchard and I'll make a one one spirit. Sweet. Then I will go ahead and draw. I will play Juvenating Springs tap. So I've got a blue and a green floating. I use the blue to play Mystic Remora, and then I use the green to pay for the Mystic. I'll say go. Draw. I'll play a Bloodstained Mire. <laughs> I'll crack this. Badland. Two for a Blind Obedience, and I'll pay the one. Will you pay the four? Uh, no, you can have that one, Clay. Nice. <laughs> I'll go to combat. I'll swing Sofina over at you, Dan, mm -hmm. for four. And I will swing Lavinia at you, Clay, for two. Two clue tokens. And now blocks. And I'm good seven. after that. I will untap. Crypt trigger at my upkeep. That is an even, so I'm safe. Draw for turn. Let's move to combat. I'm going to swing Sofina at Josh. What? Magistrate at Kev and Rafine at Clay. And I have two triggers. I'll stack uh, Sophina on top of Rafine. Am I good to resolve Sophina trigger? Okay. Okay. I'll make three treasures, go up to four, and then connive three, draw three. I'm going to discard a watery grave one, soul ring two, and arcane signet is going to be number three. And I'll put two plus one plus one counters on the Magistrate. Play Vault of Champions as my land for turn second main phase. And then I am going to pay three mana for a Ristic Study. Well, study your clues are tapped. The clues are tapped. I'll pay for the, uh, the opposing Ristic Study. I will not pay for the opposing Mystic Remora. Then I will pass the turn. We're going to play Cephalid Coliseum. 
This is tapped and I take a damage from it being tapped. Excuse me, uh, Zoomer question. Do you have to tap a clue to sacrifice it? You don't. I was just being dumb. Do it, Kev. And then I will pass you the think I Untap. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, you... I will pay. I'll draw for turn. Exotic Orchard. Land for turn. Uh, I'm going to Noble Hierarch. Yeah, why not? I'll pay both Rhystics. And take up. Yeah, I'll pay three. And I'll play Rhystic Study. And I'll pay for. Uh, who's I'm, who am I going to pay for? How many cards do you all have in hand? I have four. Five. I'll. Uh, that didn't help me at all. Dan's <laughs> 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 got three clues on board, so he effectively has eight. True. I'll pay for years then, Josh. Excellent. So you're going to give Can the card, Dan the card? No, it's Can. Yeah. Can. I'm giving Can the card. I'm Thank giving you. Can the dard. Now he effectively is nine. Uh, well, <laughs> kick rocks. I don't That's know not much more you. than eight, but five is way more than four. Okay, so uh, Rhystic um, Study back on the stack. I would like to respond to the study. Uh, I'll pay for uh, Josh's Rhystic Study to flash in an Aven Mind Sensor. Nice. Okay. Now we both have birds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bird Brothers, that's what they're going to call us. That's true. Bird, bird Bros. Yeah, this, they're going to look um, back on this evening as our origin story. I'll go to combat. Sophina at Josh and Lavinia at Dan. You got it. Two more clues. After all of that, I'm a pass. No. All right, I'm going to untap. I have a crypt trigger. It is odds I will take damage and go to 22. Go to my draw step. Oh, I'm a big cheater. This land's gone. Okay. I'm going to pay Ooh. one black mana and cast an Imperial Seal. I don't want to pay for anything. Hell yeah, we draw. <laughs> I would like to pay two mana to sacrifice a blue and draw a card. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. I'll pay a life into this talisman and go double white and cast a Grand Abolisher. I'm not paying for the Rhystics on that. All right. I have a trigger on Heath. I'm going to draw a card and discard a card. Yes, you may. I'd like to discard a Cathartic Fire. Everybody's good on the Abolisher. I'm great for the Abolisher. You abolish, abolish things. All right. I say abolish. Okay, let's move to combat. I'm going to swing... Sophina at play, Rafine and the Mind Sensor at Kev. I guess we'll also go Magistrate at Clay. So uh, Clay, that's going to be seven coming your way. I'd like to respond to attackers being declared, knowing that there's a Grand Abolisher on the board. I'm not blundering into this one, I yeah, promise. Yeah, go for it. Okay, ready for this? Channel this in Django, baby. Django. To deal four to Ooh, one. Um, Sophina or Rafine? Probably Rafine. I would like to hit, well, Rafine. That seems like the better card. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I accept your terms and conditions. There you go. Now <laughs> you have to put this on YouTube. A niche thing happened. Mm, I doubt it. That, okay. Um, does that trigger still go on, though? Yeah, it's still on the stack. Yeah. I can only do it to an attacking creature. It's okay, weird. so I have Sophina trigger that I'm going to put on top. Uh, that's going to make four clues, and then I'm going to connive four. Draw one, two, three, and four. We're gonna bin. We're gonna bin. Sensei's divining top, swords to plowshares, scalding tarn, and I guess brainstorm. Uh, and then I have the three plus one plus one counters that will put on uh, the mind sensor. Get it out of bolt range, bolt etc. Range. Those counters are un like underrated. I feel like. Yeah, I oh, like yeah. again. Every time That's I've evaluated the connive cards, I have negated the fact that it also makes your shit bigger and it's really nice. Yeah. So, like, I was holding that Cathartic Pyre for the Magistrate, and then you put the counters on, and I was immediately like... Yeah, you hit me with the bolt, and I was like, oh, that's not the only one, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> There's <laughs> definitely more of those. Any lightning bolts in this deck. Yeah, I, I figured that might be the case. Mana Confluence is going to be land for turn. How many cards does everyone have in hand? That's seven. I have five. Pay life into this Confluence, and I'm going to cast a Cabal Ritual with Threshold active. Make five black. Pay two out of it and cast Windfall. Nice. I'm discarding uh, Flusterstorm and Enlighten Tutor. Sugar's on the cast, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, everyone seven. can draw. I have six cards in hand now. I have ten. Sweet. You ten. I got eight. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Uh, Flusterstorm uh, and Enlighten Tutor going to the bin. Discarding Rite of Flame, Gilded Drake, Intuition, Smothering Tithe, Ooh. Dispel, and my own Windfall. I was kind of stacked. I was kind of <laughs> yeah. stacked. Mm. Uh, Kadama, Monastery Mentor, Geist Wave, Rite of Harmony... Pact, Noxious Revival, Beseju, Emergence Zone, Breeding Pool, and Silence. I've got Swansong, 
Kira Great Glass Spinner, Scrubland, Sword of the Meek, Mana Confluence, Mental Misstep, Cyclonic Rift, and Time Seethe. Josh, can you run me through what's in your graveyard, my friend? Ow. Oh, you gonna have to portray some memes? I might. I, if it'll win me the game, I would. Windfall, Dispel, Smothering Tithe, Intuition, Gilded Drake, Rite of Flame, Ejango, Cathartic Pyre, Thiddy's Traders, Exotic Orchard, Occult Epiphany, which is a draw X discard X, Lightning Bolt, Wheel of Fortune, Lion's Eye Diamond, Jessica's Will, Frantic Search, Mox Diamond, mm. Faithless Suiting, and Misty Rainforest. I think, I'm, as a professional, enough. I'm gonna recommend that you don't cast that. Why? Highly recommend that you don't cast it. Mm. Why? Because I want to win. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Not like it's a friendly, like, uh, warning, but just as... You have a grand abolisher, and I use my channel land, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you could have the red one. I don't know if you're gonna, like, make make two 1-1 one, one soldiers. I can't because, uh, uh, I don't have the mana for it. Oof, rough. Okay, let's use two of the floating black and this to make a blue, and I'm going to cast the Mnemonic Betrayal. I'll exile everyone's graveyards. Wait, would you like to pay one for that Mnemonic Betrayal? Oh, yeah. Yes, you may draw. Joy. Thanks. But, I mean, hopefully I just kill you. I'll cast the, the Lion's Eye Diamond. I'm going to cast your uh, Rite of Flame, Josh. Oh, do you only have black right now? I only have black. But, I mean, I can I mean, use I any color play. to cast things out of people's graveyards, so. You're just going to steal my win, now. What is your win? I can take infinite okay. turns? How do I do it? I've got Time Steve in my graveyard. I don't if know. I guess I Sofina, don't know what Time Steve does. Well, Sofina, Sofina make you need one more creature out, but you can do that with your turns the time Steve sacks five treasures and takes an extra actually you can't because it'll enter tapped uh say so i have to wait in another shit. oh shoot every time you play a card with the meme betrayal i draw from ghostly pilfer so i should have two more yes cards. Um, it's not a main all right so wait, you josh LEDN. you only have the diamond in your graveyard for additional mana creation frantic search if you have a land that taps for two jessica's mm -hmm. will as well Oh, you have a Jeska's Will. That's a, certainly a, a horse of a different color there. Let's cast the Jeska's Will targeting... I assume Clay has the most in hand. I've got 12. Oh. Okay, I've got I have the most cards in hand. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. My go uh, ghostly pill for trigger is not a May, so I have to keep trying. I will make 15 red mana with that Jeska's Will pointed at uh, Josh. You bastard. You pay man. one? <laughs> no. I think you cast my intuition, right? I'm not exactly sure what pile I get with Intuition because I don't have a Savine's Wreck. Well, I feel like you just cast Sightcraft and then cast Time Seeve and then just take Infinite Turns. <laughs> oh, true, true. Yeah, um, yeah I'm going to do that instead. <laughs> Curses. Um, right. I guess we'll just overload a Sightcraft. Why not? It makes the most sense. True. Yeah, and then you don't have to worry about getting in. Spend three more down to five on the Civ. <laughs> I, can ca I can't cast my commander at this point. I have to cast someone else's creature. Who's got a creature in their yard? And a Dranith Magistrate. Oh, I guess the Mentor is pretty sweet. Three on the Mentor. And then I can propose that I can take infinite turns? Yeah. That's yeah, true? Man. Wow, that's really funny. Okay, so I'll take yeah. infinite turns, and then I will just like keep drawing until I get Fast's Oracle and Demonic Consultation or the Tutor. Well, you're going to kill us. Wow. You're just going to straight up kill us. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. I'm going to do the combo thing instead. I think I think you need to kill us. <laughs> I don't know if you... It depends on how yeah, you far you get it. it. You can't you can't do the combo thing without killing us first. It's just not possible. <laughs> nice. Awesome. That was that I'm was cool. That was yeah, interesting. I'm very happy that you pulled that. It's a fun win con. Yeah, that was that was fun. I that was a really cool one. Big congrats to Mod on the win. This was my first game playing Rafine, and while I lucked out with a hand that was absolutely loaded with early mana, we got to see a lot of the strengths of Rafine throughout this game. The ability to make our incidental hate dorks like Dranith Magistrate and even Mind Sensor bigger to get them out of bolt range was extremely relevant in this game. And my favorite thing about Rafine is that she doesn't need to attack herself to get the connive trigger. It just needs to have her on board. That ability being so easy to trigger is part of what allows us to keep hands that only really cast Rafine, because she can inherently reshape the constitution of her hand, as well as setting up for more long-term plans by stashing things that we want in the graveyard and then getting them back later with recursion engines. This deck has been a blast to play so far. If you want to see a full deck tech for it on the channel, let me know in the comments. One final thank you to our fabulous guests for joining us today. Go catch Josh and Elder Drunken Highlander here on YouTube, and make sure you follow Clavey and CNC Power Hour and Just Kev's Will over on Twitch. Remember, if you like this video, one of the best ways to support us is by leaving a comment and hitting that like and subscribe button. It's incredibly helpful and always appreciated. If you want to support the channel more directly, become a patron to catch episodes early and unlock exclusive bonus content. One final thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. And thank you for watching. Be good to yourself, everyone.